Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to Lesson 61 in the Intermediate Algebra series. So in this tutorial, I'll be doing an example on how to find the x and y intercept of a line. So the line we're going to be looking at in this tutorial is represented by the equation y equals minus one-half x plus three. And so to find the x-intercept of this line, what we're going to do is we're just going to set y equal to zero and then solve for x. To find the y-intercept of this line, we're going to set x equal to zero and then solve for y. So basically the x-intercept is going to be the point that our line crosses the x-axis. The y-intercept is going to be the point where our line crosses the y-axis. So the x-intercept is just simply a point on the x-axis where our line crosses the x-axis. The y-intercept is simply a point on the y-axis where our line crosses the y-axis. So let's go ahead and solve for the x-intercept. So the x-intercept can be found by setting y equal to zero. So we're just going to rewrite this equation here. But instead of y, we're going to write zero. So zero is equal to minus one-half x plus three. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of this 3 right here. So to do that, we're just going to subtract 3 from both the left and right hand side of this equation. So 0 minus 3 is going to be just minus 3. And then a positive 3 minus 3 is going to give us 0. So that's going to leave us with a minus 1 half x over here. So now we have negative 3 is equal to negative 1 half x. So if we have a negative on the left and the negative on the right, we can basically just multiply each side by a negative one. So a negative one times a negative three gives this, makes this a positive three. And then in the negative one times the negative one half x just makes this a positive one half x. So I just simply multiply the left and right hand side by a negative one. So now we have three is equal to one half x. So to get rid of this one half, what we can do is we can multiply the right hand side and the left hand side by two. So two times three gives us six. Two times one half x simply leaves us with x. So that means that our x intercept has an x component of six. So let's go ahead and write x intercept here. x intercept. And once again, the basically the point uh, of the x-intercept is going to be an ordered pair. And so an ordered pair basically just has an x and a y component. And so our x-intercept is going to have an x component of 6. So that x component right here is going to be 6. And then we know our y component is 0, since that's the value we entered in for y to get the x component of 6. So let's go ahead and look at the y-intercept now. So now we just need to set x equal to 0 to find the y-intercept. So writing this equation just one more time, y equals minus 1 half x plus 3. And this time we're finding the y-intercept, so we're setting x equal to 0. So we just rewrite y equals minus 1 half and then x is 0, so this is times 0, plus 3. So a minus 1 half times 0 simply just gives us 0. So this becomes y equals 0 plus 3. And 0 plus 3 is simply 3, so y is equal to 3. So y equals 3 is going to be the y component of our y-intercept. So over here we're just going to write y-intercept. And our x component is going to be 0, since we entered a 0 for x to get our corresponding y value here. So x, the x component is 0. And the y component of our y-intercept is going to be 3. So the x-intercept is represented by the ordered pair 6, 0. And the y-intercept is, is represented by the ordered pair 0, 3. So let's go ahead and plot these two points on the xy coordinate system. So our x-intercept is basically going to be on the x-axis. The x-axis is when y equals 0. 
And when x equals 6, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That would be right here. So now looking at the y-intercept, x is equal to 0. And x equals 0 is basically the y-axis. And then the y-component of that is 3. So on the y-axis, we go up 1, 2, 3. That puts us right there. And then if we wanted to just kind of connect these two intercepts right here, we can, uh, we'll basically have a rough sketch of what this equation looks like. So this is an equation of a line, and uh, let me just kind of just go ahead and try to sketch this as best I can here. Looks kind of something like that. Kind of a weird angle for me to reach in here and do this, but but more or less it looks like this. So this is the equation, or the, basically the line represented by the equation y equals minus one half x plus three. So anyway, that was just another example on how to find the x and y intercept of a line. So thank you guys for watching. Um, you guys have an excellent day. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next tutorial. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.